Hey, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim series. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to achieve all of the milestones, reach top level in every career, graduate with every degree, max all of our skills, complete all of the aspirations, earn all of the reward traits, collect all of the collections, and do everything you can do with a single sim. Now, Carl is just a little bit possessed here since we have actually started the Strangerville mystery and I thought it was appropriate to become possessed. So we're just waiting for that to wear off. Now this week we have the oversized crop competition and the pie competition for the Finchwick Fair, but we already have all of the pie ribbons. So we will just be doing the oversized crop competition. We're also trying to get Norma to be expelled from school. So we'll be going with her to school on Monday and we have not started our next degree right now. And to be honest, I'm not so sure how enthusiastic I am about starting the next degree because the Grim Reaper life and death pack has come out or will come out on October 31st and it's getting pretty close. I'm not sure if we need to start over with the Super Sim or not. I do have a poll out there for that so that will be linked in the description below and in the comments. So please go leave your opinions over there. Um, if we do start over, I think it will be a lot easier next time around because to be honest, we had a really hard time with Carla's teenage years and that was due to the fact that she was a werewolf and that she had to go through so much trouble in order to complete that one aspiration and they patch that now. So we don't have to go through all that trouble that we went through before. But it is kind of repetitive to repeat all of that stuff. And Carla has done so much. This is actually the third Carla, if you were following along from the beginning. But the first iteration of Carla did not make it past childhood. She just reached being a child. And I'm not even sure that I released that particular episode or not I might have so we definitely did the toddler skills tips and tricks and then I think maybe I had recorded one where she was a child and working on the child aspirations but I'm not sure if that one was released or if I just deleted it because I started it over so basically after that we had another version of Carla that had all of the born traits but did not make it past the infant stage or even to do the infant milestones because i forgot about born in the lighthouse so i did that portion off camera and the third iteration is this version of carla here so this version of carla has the born in the lighthouse and all of the other born traits that she needs and she still acts like she's possessed but she's not oh and she is divorced from hayden so hayden has a broken heart which might be dangerous but what we might want to do is do a romantic repair date with him because i think that you can only do a romantic repair date if you have a negative romantic relationship with that person. Okay, now Carla is very sad. This is not going to be good. And we need to be silly, share interests, and drink something, which might be hard. Okay, I don't think either one of them can be silly except for giving a funny gift. Maybe that will count. Okay, the gloomy compliments are actually working. Uh, except for Hayden's didn't work too much. Can we be, be silly again? Giving a funny gift is silly, maybe? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I guess we have to get a table then. Oh, we don't want a booth. This one has booths. Okay, we've repaired our friendship, but not our romance. It's really hard to do any romantic interactions when they're both sad. 
and nothing is overpowering her sadness despite the fact that she only has plus four sad. Why is my request table not working? Okay, any table. Just don't give me a booth. Hopefully they don't because the booths are bugged. They don't work. And it looks like the only booth here is taken. So it should be fine. For some reason we can't get a table. I don't get why. Okay. Maybe we can try to cheer him up because we are actually confident now instead of sad. Why can't you talk to him? He keeps running away. Okay. We need some kind of small talk. Oh, no. Agnes, what are you doing here? Agnes! Come on! Agnes! I am on a date here! Why are you even here? Okay, we want to extend the date because we're running out of time okay we need to drink something and talk about food but unfortunately we can't do that since i can't get a place to sit oh and there's no place to dance around here probably oh maybe we can order drinks okay we can actually order drinks at the bar. There's a bartender here, and this is a restaurant. I didn't know that that would work in base game. There's, well, not base game, sorry. With no mods. There's no mods in this game. And there's a bar here, and a bartender showed up. This is a restaurant. Okay, well, we can kind of tell jokes. I can't talk about food unless I get something to eat. Oh, Aya says, I'm here for you, Carla. Watch a movie, cry, plot revenge against Hayden, whatever you need. No, we're not going to be that mean. We're actually trying to have a romantic repair date. Just because I want the gold date. Oh, this should have... Um, no, he's not our partner anymore, so we can't go on three dates with him. Well... That one is unfortunately not going to work. We're not improving our romance any at all, but we're going to get a gold date just by doing the side quests. Peter says, you know your family's here for you, right, Carla? We can live, laugh, love without Hayden. Who needs them? Oh, Carla rejected him. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't work when Hayden tries it. Carla has to do it. Okay, we got a gold date. Now we're going to end the date cheerfully because the timer is almost out. Okay, end the date, Carla. What are you doing? Okay, that pretty much repaired our relationship, I would say, three-fourths of the way. So we do have a little bit of negativity still, but we did get a gold date. Why is transferring not allowed? I don't get that. <laughs> this game is bugged. Okay, so Hayden is gone, and we're left with Norma and Jonas needing to go to school tomorrow. And then Ariel and Isis, who are the Grim Reaper's kids. Now, the thing with Ariel and Isis is that neither of them got that Grimborn trait. So, we will need to do woohooing the Grim Reaper again. And I think that we will have to have more kids, at least, if we're not starting over. So, Carla is just going to work on her Strangerville mystery for now. Every once in a while, the lightning strikes and hits these generators. That's kind of interesting. Pink lightning. Okay, we need to create an experimental vaccine. And see if we can get three of them. We need to vaccinate three Sims. We also need to vaccinate ourselves. So we need, I would say, a minimum of four vaccines. But probably more because the vaccination doesn't always work. Okay, it says, Carla has successfully crafted an experimental vaccine. Test this on possessed sims to learn how to create the true vaccine. Okay. 
well, maybe we should do that first, even though I got three experimental ones. We cannot test it on ourselves. It needs to be one that's possessed and walking around as possessed. Okay, this is our... No, don't leave yet. You're not allowed to leave. No, come on. I was just about to kiss her. She disappeared. All right, well, I was about to say that was going to be my 10th kiss, but no. Okay, we'll have to settle for you then. Why can I not do it? Okay, there we go. For some reason, just the introduction will not allow you to do a first kiss. You have to do at least one bromance interaction before you can kiss the person. And there's our 10th kiss. Okay, I have not kissed him before. There we go. That was a delayed reaction. Now we have to earn three gold dates. And I don't think we have time for that. Let's see. Where is the Strangerville people? Of course, it's 1159. I wonder if we can vaccinate ourselves. Probably not. Oh, if I click on it, I can just test experimental vaccine and I drink it. Well, that's good. I don't have to find an infected person. Okay, the vaccine caused some sort of reaction, but did not completely isolate the infection. Keep testing. Okay. Well, this makes it really easy to do this one. This one used to be hard if you were trying to find Sims that were possessed, but I can just test it on myself. All right, that was my last one. Eureka, the vaccine seems to be isolating the infection. Head back to the secret lab to create the infection vaccine. Okay, but Carla is now possessed because it is 1 a.m. All right, so at least we were able to find the true vaccine without having to find the infected people first. All right, possession ends at about 4 a.m. Now we can go back to the secret lab. Okay, Carla is going to drink the infection vaccine, and let's see if she's cured. Hopefully she gets no interruptions. Okay, I feel so much better. I can think clearly, and that terrible sound in my head is gone. But it doesn't count as vaccinating a simp. Alright, sure. Okay, we started high school. Let's see if we can get expelled. Okay, you are going to prank this board. Nope, I can't. Oh, come on. She walked off. Or he. Yeah, that's definitely a he. Can we plant a stink capsule? And maybe the janitor will catch us? No, come on. People, quit messing with your stuff. I need to get caught doing a prank. Are you going to catch me? I guess the custodian doesn't care. Oh, here's the teacher, though. He should catch me. And, yeah, no one cares. Okay. Well, if I just don't go to class, that should help. Oh, no, she's... She doesn't have... What? She's at school, but there is no... thing for her. Is it because she's an F student and technically already expelled? No, we are not getting ready for class and neither is Jonas. Maybe if I have her prank the whiteboard now? While everyone is coming in, hopefully that will work. Yeah, I think Norma is already expelled or something. They're just not reacting to her doing pranks, and she doesn't have the school day set up over here, even though I selected to follow her. Okay, well, she's pranking the whiteboard and not getting caught for it. And I'm not in class, and neither is Jonas. Okay, well... Maybe we should go talk to the principal? Yeah, go get to know the principal when you're not in class. Okay, well, I did not tell her to do that, but that just figures. And where is she going? Why is she going over here? This is so glitchy. 
All right, I am supposed to be in class. She should at least catch Jonas. Why is she not catching Jonas? Okay, I'm being caught. Can I please get expelled? Oh, she talked her way out of it? No! No! Okay, she avoided detention. Is it because she actually can't have detention? Okay, whatever. He didn't get caught for whatever reason. Okay, so she got suspicious vibes. But yet... Okay, well, anyway. I don't know what to do with them. Okay, we gotta try and prank the whiteboards. If we can. Okay, I called the principal over. Catch me pranking the whiteboard, and this time, so expel off, me. Bima, or give me Grinia. detention. I don't think she can, though. Shyla, Shyla. Yeah, I got caught. Alright, well, I'm just going to finish the day. Hopefully, I can get him expelled, even though he's not getting caught doing anything. I gotta keep them from going to class and then this time try to get Jonas caught. We might have to do this with Jonas. Because I think that for whatever reason, Norma is bugged. I'm trying to get Jonas to introduce himself to the principal because the principal is not able to talk to him maybe because he's a notable newcomer. He's a celebrity just because of Carla. All right, so if he talks to her while class has started, surely, surely he will get caught. Okay, Norma is caught again. Can we please expel her? This time she didn't get out of the detention. Why is this not working? Okay, now you need to catch him. He's not in class. Come on, he's not in class. Catch him. Why is he not being caught? He's even talking to you. Come on. Uh, I'm about to give up on this. This is just ridiculous. I think they made it so that you can no longer get expelled or get in trouble or something. Okay, can, be, can I be expelled for bad grades? I am an F student. And it's end of day report. Okay, I didn't get one for Norma. All right, maybe if I try to hack school grades or something, I guess I'll just check my grades. I need hacking skill or programming skill in order to hack my grades. Yes, Norma is failing. Well, I don't know. Jonas is a C student and he has class again. So I guess we're gonna continue with this. That's so much fun. Well, maybe at 5 p.m. she'll get expelled, which means I have to stay here for a while because I think she did technically get detention, but she did not go. In the meantime, I know I won't get very much here in the way of spore clusters, but I'm sure I'll get something. No. Okay, maybe I have to scan outside. Well, what do you know? We have a second ranch hand. Yeah, this kind of happens every once in a while. It happens with nannies, too. Well, it's 5 p.m. Norma did not get expelled. And Jonas is still pretty good as a C student. Ugh. This is just so annoying. So, back to work on the infection vaccines. We need to vaccinate three people, and we already vaccinated ourselves. So we need at least four more, I'd say, maybe a couple extras. The reason why at least four is because we do want some to throw at the mother during the fight. I think for good measure, we'll get a couple extra spores and hopefully save one of these vaccines for the shop. I don't see any scientists or military personnel around. Okay, I think they just lost their titles, but I'm pretty sure that she is a conspiracy theorist. Come on, stop walking. Oh, I'm not going to be able to stop her from walking away. 
All right. Maybe someone else. He looks like he's in the military. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to have one military personnel person, one scientist, and then a conspiracy theorist. Okay, first you have to administer the vaccine. And then we can ask him to be part of our group. Yeah, he didn't like that too much, but hey, that's what we gotta do. So yeah, now that I splashed you in the face with this disgusting goo, will you help me in our fight towards the mother plant? Sure, I will. Okay. We got one person to help. Now before you go, can you badmouth me? Oh, there's a vampire here. Well, we don't need vampires. Alright, you're possessed. I'm back to a neutral reputation. Even after asking five people to badmouth me, I actually had a good reputation for a while. And I think it's because every time she introduces herself to someone, she immediately becomes good friends with them. And I'm even introducing myself on accident to people. It seems like if I even ask someone to badmouth me, they will become friends with me. So that's a net gain in my reputation so this is about to become a lot harder Arr. okay we have our scientist Catherine atkins yeah whenever i go to school norma does not have the event that she's in school whereas jonas does okay well i'm going to focus on jonas then because i don't see that we can ever get expelled with norma for some reason Okay, finally I got her to walk away from that board. She was standing there guarding it. And now I'm going to get caught for pranking the whiteboard. Okay. So... One more wrong move from getting expelled. Good. I'm going to prank it again. Expel me. Come on, I'm pranking the board. Expel me. <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to work because she's just ignoring me. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I can go find the principal now. And I can be caught not going to class because I'm supposed to be there in nine minutes. All right, Miss Principal, tell me that I'm supposed to be in class. No, no, we're not going to go hide. We're going to get caught. Okay, can I be expelled now? Do I have to get expelled on two different days? Uh, she forgave me. Why? I don't want to be forgiven. Oh, this is so annoying. I cannot get expelled for anything. Go prank a locker. Okay, she's going to the bathroom. Can I stink bomb this locker? No, it won't let me. She's not going to see me do it. I guess my mischief level is not high enough. I cannot stink bomb the locker. So, I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait until the next class. Okay, maybe if I can get caught again... Okay, she's catching me for something else. Or she's doing something. Okay, and she's just doing that repeatedly for some reason. Okay. Okay, can I prank your whiteboard or are you still writing on it? Can you stop writing on the whiteboard, please, so I can try and prank it? At least you're here to catch me, though. No, no, don't go in the other room. Catch me. Oh no, it's career day. I don't want career day today. No, I'm not can't I'm not going to career day. I am skipping that. If I skip career day, will the principal catch me and tell me that I'm supposed to be in class? No. Okay. What if I just cancel the career day? 
Or maybe if I go see the principal with Norma, I'll see what happens if I don't have a school assignment and I talk to the principal. I swear they changed this so that you can no longer get expelled. It's impossible. I know there was a problem for a while where you got expelled too easily because you were basically getting up out of your seat during class and then getting detention and then getting expelled that way. But this is just ridiculous. This is broken. The only other thing I can think of to do is go to school while I'm not following the kids. And then I'm getting lectured on something. Okay. Well, and then, okay, good. She's sending me to detention. If I skip detention, then I'm pretty sure that gets you expelled. No, so she says, keep that up and I'll send you to detention. Okay, so he's not sent to detention yet. Okay, so she's noting it in my record. They keep noting it in my record, but how do I get expelled? Well, he's going to be disliked by the principal. Maybe that will reduce the chance that she doesn't send me to detention. Oh, good. He got expelled. Finally. Okay. We don't have to have these kids go to school anymore. It's about time. Okay. Since we don't need Norma to get expelled anymore. Happy birthday to Norma. And she did not get another trait. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, we have a conspiracy theorist over here at the curio shop. And we stand still so I could administer the vaccine. There you go. Now help me fight the mother plant. Where are you going? Get back here. I did not say you could go. It's not time for her to go either. Why is she going all the way over to the bar? Are you going to go get a drink? Don't leave. Oh, come on. All right. Well, what is your name? Kristen Beckett. I need to invite you over maybe to my house and maybe I can do that. As soon as I splashed her, she decided to leave the lot and there's nothing I can do unless I could reset her. Okay, why did you have to walk all the way over there? What is over there that you had to go see? Okay, are you gonna come back? No, we are going. Now where are you going? The Sims makes no sense. I think she's going to the edge of the lot so she can leave the lot. But I'm trying to talk to her. And she left. It's not time for the curio shop to be closed. It closes at 3 a.m. Okay, I thought that this actually closed earlier than that. But no, it closes at 3 a.m. and it opens at 9 a.m. So it's only closed between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. for six hours. And it must be the changing of the guard or something because it is 6.49 p.m. All right. Oh, I love that outfit on you, Kristen. Yeah, but your nose ring and choice of gloves is a little questionable. A nose ring maybe, but not the gloves. Okay, let's see if we can have her Chris fight the mother Rob. plant. Kuzip! That's what you're afraid of, right? Sure, she'll fight the mother plant. Okay, now bad mouth me. Apparently, I have a new butler. What happened to the old butler? Not that she was any good. Oh look, Aya is still here. I'm not sure why she was removed as my butler. Is she pregnant or does she have a home? I don't know. Okay, we're back to a bad reputation. Well, we need it to actually be an atrocious reputation. So that we can work on our freelance artist career. Oh well. 
Now I can duplicado the spores. I wonder, can I duplicado the infection vaccines? Because it is a pain to make these. Oh, I can copy paste them. Oh, that is so overpowered. Spellcasters are so overpowered, it's ridiculous. And it's because of this copy paste spell. If it wasn't for that copy paste spell, I would say that potentially werewolves were a better class to be. But no. Magic user, spellcaster, that's definitely better than vampire and better than werewolf because I can just copy paste out these things and these things are ridiculously hard to make. Now I have seven. Okay, first let's wear the hazmat suit because I think you're supposed to do that. And then let's use the key card. Okay, and then one last use key card. And here we fight the mother plant. Can you get through, Carla? Okay, let's see. Fight mother plant with. And we pick our scientist, our military personnel, and our conspiracy theorist. Now, again, that is not necessary. However, it is necessary to not invite them to the lot. Because if you invite them to the lot first, then they have to travel all the way down to the bottom and it will take them forever. So always call them with selecting the mother plant. Do not invite them to the lot first. And you can ignore the people who are walking around, but it is good to do mega spray as soon as it becomes available. And then also throw your infection vaccines. And that gets her health down the quickest. And basically, you'll pretty much, let's see, group commands, let's say charge. And it looks like you can't throw the infection vaccine all the time. So since there's a cooldown on that, this might not be too terribly easy. Can't do group commands. So basically we're just watching now. Although we are doing fairly well, I think. All right, hurry up. She is getting about halfway down and we are getting a little bit infected. This actually might be close, even though I have infection vaccines. Come on. Can't I do mega spray? I can't change my group command. There's just nothing I can do right now. Okay, finally. Let's, uh... Warbling war cry. Can I do another mega spray? Okay, I can throw another infection vaccine. Okay, not much I can do now. She's about to die though. I've actually done this with no infection vaccines to throw, so it's not like that this is impossible if you don't make extra vaccines. Oh, I lost one of my people. Maybe these people do do things, because I lost one. Interesting. Oh, well. <laughs> R.I.P. Catherine. She'll be fine. I think it just revives her. She's just knocked out. Okay, let's charge. She's almost dead. I think maybe if you charge, you are more likely to... Oh, she got up. Oh, we can do one more Mega Spray, and then she should be dead. Oh, she's fighting her. Okay, so these people that walk around do, in fact, do something. And we're about to kill the Mother Plant, so... Yeah. 
And she's dead. And we completed the Strangerville mystery. Okay, aspiration completed, and we have our little celebration. Yay! The mother plant is defeated, and you can actually revive her if you would like and set the infection level. But we'll just leave her dead for right now. Okay, let's remove this stupid thing. A little less Strangerville, with one last screech, the mother plant collapses. Returning home, you notice that things are beginning to return to normal. The bizarre plants are subsiding, and the infected are waking up from their nightmare. Strangerville owes you a huge debt. You are a hometown hero. You have defeated the mother plant and returned Strangerville to normal. You can return the mother plant at any point to reawaken her. Once resurrected, you can have her set the infection level to your desired strangeness. This will allow you to replay the story with other families. Okay. All right. And the next one is the Mount Kumarabi Sightseer. So maybe we should move to Mount Kumarabi now. Okay. I see this haunted castle challenge house by Juniper Whimsy, original by Juby Sims. So I'm not sure if Juniper copied this from Juby Sims or if maybe she did some kind of shell challenge. And I don't see anything like this on Juby Sims profile, but sorry if this is a re-upload. And this just fits the landscaping perfectly. I'm going to have to use this. This is absolutely gorgeous. And it's actually pretty decent as far as recording value. It's hard sometimes to get some decent builds that allow you to see things correctly. So yeah, I think we'll be going with this. And is there a basement? Of course not. Okay, well, we might have to make a basement for the butler. Unless we have enough rooms here. So we need at least one room for Carla, not that she's going to use it. One room for Jonas. I'm having trouble remembering his name for some reason. All right. And then one room for Isis and Ariel. We'll make them share. That's fine. And then the butler would either be in the nursery or we'd have to make, well, maybe we'll move the twins in here because they're still children. So we'll move the twins in here, change these into regular beds, maybe give them bunk beds. And then the butler can sleep in here, even though that's kind of a grand room for a butler. <laughs> uh... Maybe we'll stick the butler back here because that's the only one that doesn't have its own bathroom. And then we'll give Jonas this room and then Carla the big room. Yeah, that makes more sense. Maybe the realm of magic beds will look okay in here. Uh, of course, it doesn't fit. All right, we don't really need these. They're nice, but we don't need them. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, are there any other toys in here that we can get rid of because they're in... Oh, this is a changing table. We will not need that for children. We can put the rocking chair over there instead. Okay. So this should pretty much be okay. Maybe a table over there or a toy box. Is this a toy box? Yes, that's a toy box. All right, I think the toy box is better between the beds and maybe get some kind of little side table over there. I'm going to have to find something that matches this decor though. That might be tricky. Oh, this is actually from the pack. Okay, well, that was easy. Although it's not really fitting there. Well, I guess it can go right there because unfortunately I cannot put it closer to the door. Oh, and we need the monster lights. Okay, I don't think we need the diapers and wipe shelf. Unfortunately, I don't know if this comes in a different swatch or maybe something that doesn't have that on there. No, of course not. 
I know it's supposed to be a nursery, but these kids are children. We can't have that up there. Okay, we're going to put that over there and put this over by the door. Because the lamp will not fit on the toy box and I can't find a shelf that it will fit on. So we're just going to have to hope that this one monster light is enough, even though it's kind of far away. I don't know if that will help protect both sides of the bed, but we'll see. Okay, we do need a chicken coop. Oh, look, we have room on top. I don't think we, oh, we can get up here, but it's a ladder, which is annoying. Well, we'll just have to deal with it. Okay, we have our chicken coop over there. And can we fit an animal shed too? No, there's no way. There's no way an animal shed will fit up here. Well, good thing we don't need it this time. Maybe we'll be gone by the time we need an animal shed. Okay, but now we need a basement. And where are we going to put the stairs? Well, maybe we'll just have a little ladder that goes down to the basement. And we could actually put the butler in the basement and make him a little, or her, make her a little thing in the basement but i don't think that's necessary yet because we do have enough bedrooms so let me just take the same sort of ladder and that's an odd place for a ladder but maybe it'll work and we're just going to cover this with bricks and the only reason why i even need a basement is for my nectar i'm trying to age it i could just put it in the kitchen I mean, I don't technically need a basement. Let's just forget the basement for now. I'll maybe add a basement if I need it later. But I think for now, I can just throw the nectar in the kitchen and it doesn't matter that it's not going to age as quickly. Okay, I think that covers everything that we absolutely need. And then we can just get whatever else we need as we go. Let's put the on ley line back on. I like to have the island spirits and the gnomes and we'll do the scare seeker and spooky. I don't like simple living. We'll do mold just because it's kind of fun. Cursed and creepy crawlies and maybe filthy. So I like having a lot of challenges. It is kind of fun. Oh, disasters. I forgot about them. Just not simple living. Simple living is just annoying. And reduce and recycle is also annoying. Oh, speaking of reduce and recycle, trash cans. Does this place come with trash cans? We need one next to the chicken coop. We'll just throw one right there. And hopefully that doesn't get knocked over. All right, because there is a ladder going upstairs, we need to make sure that this is not the only trash can. Are there other trash cans that are outdoor trash cans? Because people seem to forget that a lot. Oh, we might not even have a mailbox. I don't know if we do. If we do, where is it? Mailbox and trash can. Not looking like it has it. All right. Well, we'll put a trash can in the kitchen. And what would look okay in here? Probably just this one. Oh, really? You can't go there because the refrigerator is there? Well, I can't use move objects. Maybe we'll put you over here. And then where do you go? Can you go over here? Yes, you can go over there. That's fine. Okay, so... We have a trash can. We need a mailbox. Mailbox. Do we have one over here somewhere? Sometimes they hide the mailbox or use a one. Oh, there it is. All right. So we do have a mailbox. I'm not loving that one. Let's use this one. I think this one looks better. Maybe that one. Or maybe the black one. Yeah, the black one. Okay. I think that one fits the best, fits the vibe. I mean, you could also use this one, but I'm not feeling the vibe of that regular old rusty one. Pretty much any of the other ones are better, except maybe this one. <laughs> that one's kind of weird. 
or the alien one. Yeah, that one would not fit the vibes, but I wouldn't just use old Rusty for everything. I mean, this one fits much better. Maybe not because of the flowers, but if you were imaginative and had move objects on, you could try to replace the flowers with some kind of other debug plant that was dead or something, or maybe some ivy. But I think it's fine to have the flowers. Okay, so Isis is going to have this bed, and that bed will be Ariel's, and then Jonas, you're going to sleep over here, and then Carla is going to claim this room. And then we're going to put all the chickens where they belong. There you go, chickies. Welcome to your new home. Let's give you some feed. Oh, it's right there. Just go into your home. We're all assigned to it. Oh, is there a monster under the bed already? Really? I don't see a monster. Oh, what I have to select one of the kids, though. I don't see a monster. Okay, so he just did that for no reason. There is no monster under that bed. All right, well, let's make sure that the butler knows that they're supposed to be in here. All right, and then we got to put away all our food. Okay, I'm noticing there are no computers around here, which, you know, it's a castle. Not supposed to have computers, but what we'll do is we'll put typewriters. So we just need to make space for a desk somewhere. Oh, look, here's a desk already. Okay, we'll just put a typewriter on it. I'm surprised they didn't do that already. Well, only having one computer in this place, I'll probably be fighting over it, but that's okay. We can go enroll in a university. So the next one is drama, and that will allow us to do the acting career. Well, I guess we should just go in order. And time to start the homework. Okay, it looks like we have a neighbor coming for the welcome wagon, but we're just going to tell him to go away because that will make him hate us. Okay, Thunder Spirit is fading away, so we will strengthen his connection to the world. That way we still have a horse that could potentially win the ultimate horse championship, even though he's a ghost. And now to continue with our project. Okay, I think this is what they mean by swimming in the river. Hopefully it is. Carla, of course, is not affected by cold, so it doesn't matter. It's 3.22 a.m., so she has to swim at least until about 4.30, probably, to complete this aspirational step. Okay, she is cold-proof, yet she's still chilled and uncomfortable. Okay, well, she did get the achievement. Okay, next thing to do is go on a date. So let's see if we get any matches. Oh, we have Zala already. I think these are old matches. Yeah, we're going to have to refresh. Cup of Leo, genius and active. Andrew, okay, so I like that one. No, I don't want to report them. <laughs> okay, we could add to saved. And I think these are mostly randomly generated sims. I don't like when they do that. Okay, we're going to go on a date with Andrew. And we don't have a gold get to know you date. Does that count as going on a date since it's not a romantic date? And we'll make it. Well, we don't want to do woohoo though, because sometimes there's not a spot to woohoo, but we'll make it a romantic date anyway. Okay, we need to flirt. We need... Oh, you need to go to the bathroom already? You just got here. Oh, apparently it's also week six of Reaper's Rewards. Uh, I completely forgot about that. It refreshes on Tuesday. Okay, let's just stop talking to you so you can go to the bathroom. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Maybe we can go inside and dance a little bit. And then ask some people to bad mouth us but wait i have to wait i have to make sure that they already know us hi aya what are you doing here and then i'll swipe something with everybody watching that also helps okay we need to eat something but first let's try to get some small talk in 
Did he not go to the bathroom? He's still uncomfortable for some reason. Oh, he's a petty thief at Mob Wives, so he's a criminal? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, having our first kiss. And that makes it maybe, well, still bronze. We can flirt one more time, and then we need to eat something and tell jokes. Yeah, I really don't want to do the eating, so we'll just talk. Um, is he asking me something? Oh, seductive dance. Okay, I was thinking maybe he was asking to be our boyfriend, but no, that's not what it is. Okay, we need to find some small talk about physical intimacy, because that solves two goals. I like when that happens. Okay, gold date. We'll end this cheerfully. Okay, that did count as a gold date. Okay, so now we need to do Wait for the Society's newsletter. I need to finish that before I get done with this episode. All right, first we expedite our mail delivery. And hey, uh, are you our butler again? No. You're not a very good butler. I don't want you as my butler again. Why do they keep switching my butlers? Oh, it's Wednesday night. It's already past Wednesday. Well, I think that's okay, though, because I think that, yeah, I'm actually releasing this on a Wednesday, and we're doing another Super Sim right after this one, because of, you know, all the mods being broken, and I don't want to risk doing anything with my other saves until I figure out what's going on. Okay, I don't think the mail comes right away. I think you have to wait until the morning, even if you expedite it, right? I don't see them yet. Well, let's see. Is there a fishing spot around here? There's got to be a fishing spot. Oh, mail did get delivered. Okay, well, we can do that. Okay, we, we read the newsletter. And it says, welcome to the final edition of your newsletter. It's time for all your hard work to pay off. Cook ambrosia from the gourmet cooking recipes. Once it's cooked, you can bring a ghost back to life with this magical dish. Cook ambrosia. Okay, well, let's make... Oh, it gave me an angelfish. Really? That was kind. Okay, well, let's go ahead and cook ambrosia. No, wait a second. Let's remove the cursed lot trait. I am not about to burn this house down by cooking ambrosia. <laughs> it's nice to have that for comical effect, but not when I'm dealing with something that uses up death flowers. Uh, speaking of potions of youth, how many days do we have left on Carla? Nine days. Okay, so we don't have to drink a potion of youth this episode, but probably next episode. The moment of truth. Incredible, you did it. It's amazing that this stuff can bring Sims back to life. It's time to make my own version of it. Thank you for your help. Why would the Grim Reaper want to make ambrosia? That is actually kind of strange. I don't know if I caught that in all this quest line if they revealed it. Okay, now we need to visit a bar during Ghost Night next week. Okay, but it looks like we're going to get all the stuff that we need except for the last three. And I don't think those are anything that's permanent. The ones that are taller are the ones that are permanent. So as long as you at least get the casket it doesn't really matter if you go all the way to the end okay so we got the glow in the dark freezer bony the jet prowling peepers oh it's the eyes casket of quiet repose the cow plant berry which we don't need Trash fruit. Why is that something that they're giving us? I don't know. Glow in the dark freezer. Buddy. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Yeah, this is a want refresher. This is a death flower. And this is a retraining potion. 
So yeah, none of these are really necessary. I cannot believe that with all this water, they don't allow you to fish. I guess you just can't fish in Mount Kumarabi, or if you can, you can't in this area. For some reason, you can't eat this directly out of the fridge. Maybe it's because it's an infected cake from Strangerville? I wonder if he will get infected. No, it looks like not. He actually likes it, too. Let's see if you like the cake. She likes it, too. Stuart! What are you doing here? I almost forgot about you! You're still an adult. You're not an elder yet. Okay, well, I don't know if we're ever going to have any confrontations with Stuart, but he's walking by my house for no apparent reason. You live in Del Sol Valley. Why are you here? Maybe you're conspiring with Zeon Baron? Baron? Probably a relative? Or married to a relative? Oh, so Norma found a ring in Megan's bag. I think she's going to propose. I don't know what to do. So say yes. So at least one of Carla's children is actually going. Wait. Wait. Wasn't she already married? Could have sworn that she was already married. We moved her out and forgot to get her married. We did. Whoops. She was supposed to stay and have grandkids. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Okay, well, she's engaged. She is not married yet. <laughs> so now we could just get them married. Uh, maybe we should invite them over and invite them to the household. I moved her out with her sister and completely forgot she was the one that was supposed to get married and have grandchildren. Okay, well, let's just kick out Jonas because he can be on his own. He's a teen. He doesn't have to age up to an adult and he got expelled from high school. So he's deciding to go out and become a rock star or something like that. I don't know. Oh, we did not age up Megan. She's still a teen. How can she be engaged? Oh, that's not good. Whoops, we gotta fix that. That is not a good thing. Okay, where is she? I invited her over. She should be right over. Okay, there she is. Of course, she's wearing that horrible outfit. Okay, Megan. We're going to age you up. Oh, I can't choose her? What do you mean I can't choose her? Okay, there she is. All right, stop talking to her. Just age her up. She is invited inside. Come on, go age up. No, let's age you up. Come on, chat, go there. Let's go watch her age up. Why are you doing that? Don't go sit together. Chat here. Why is this not working? Watch her age up into an elder because I aged her up so many times. Why is this guy just lurking around? I know he's a paparazzi, but it's annoying. Come on. Yeah, I can plan a wedding event, which is not how it's supposed to go. Come on, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I just want to make my girlfriend the same age as me, because she should be. Okay, let's please blow out the candles. Can you do it now? I'm just going to have to add her to the household if she's not going to do it. I didn't want to do that. Maybe it's under relationship. Uh, yeah, she's too young to get married. Yes, I know this. And why can I not ask her to join the household? Maybe we're just not good enough friends, which is kind of weird since we're engaged. Oh, you can't have teens join your household. That's right. Oh, this is so messy. And now they're kind of upset at each other. This is not good. I can plan a wedding event. No, 
no, no, we're not marrying a teenager. No. <laughs> Where is your family? Um, okay, let's try to find her family. Megan Fires. Oh, she's one of the Fires descendants. She's Stephanie's kid. I can't believe she's Stephanie's kid. Oh, I think these two are a little bit too related to be married, Um, but that's okay. We're going to do it anyway. Hi, Stephanie. Long time no see. Okay, if I ask Stephanie to move in, do you really need a teenager to join your household in The Sims 4? Just befriend their parent. Ask the parent to move in. And then steal the teenager. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not as bad as it sounds. Stephanie is a vampire. We're saving her human child from her. <laughs> and she's in love with Norma and they're engaged. So we're going to age Megan up to an adult and she's going to marry Norma. Because for some reason the game wouldn't oh. let her do it. Ugh, Carla, don't wear that Lisa. outfit. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> okay. So we got to bring Megan here. And then Meg Megan's also wearing the outfit. And we got to age you up. Why won't you age up? That is so weird. Um, you can't age up? Why not? Oh, it's not centered correctly. All right, what's wrong with this cake? All right, that's the reason. It wasn't centered correctly, but yet it still said age up sim. But for some reason, it was at the back of the counter. That's why I couldn't age her up. That's so annoying. Yeah, you don't get an additional trait either. That is very worrisome. I'm not too confident in this save right now so yeah we might be starting super sim over i'll go as far as i can with carla though all right we're now an adult now we can elope uh, maybe maybe not okay there we go it's under relationship why do they hide things under relationship now okay so we have one two three four five we have five people in our household, so what I might have to do is say we got to have grandkids, but unfortunately, Megan, you have to go back and live with your mother. <laughs> oh, why aren't we getting married? Uh. Megan, she's too angry. Why? <laughs> she doesn't have the angry buff. She's just angry for no reason. We cannot do that. Okay, I if I select it from Norma, it allows her, but she's angry. She's going to get married while she's very angry. Oh, it won't do it. I don't know why, but it won't do it. And I don't I don't get it. She shouldn't be angry. I think it's because she is still technically an NPC or something. Okay, well, let me travel off the lot again. Okay, I'm not sure why it wouldn't let me get married at home, but let's try going to the lounge and seeing if they can get married. No, it's because she's angry and it's weird. Okay, maybe if I get her a moodlet solver, even though she has no moodlets. Okay, that's better. Okay, maybe if they're talking and we can elope immediately. Don't just drop it from the queue. Okay, that's better. Okay, how sweet. These two are going to get married. I guess maybe what we'll do is have all the descendants go through Grimm. I think that's what we were going to do. But these two still need to have four kids. So we'll have the grandchildren and then move them out of the house somewhere. Maybe on their own instead of back with her mother. I think maybe I was thinking that we would yeah. do the the aspiration with either Isis or Ariel, but I think that we should just get it out of the way because I'm not sure how long we're going to be with Carla. Okay. 
So Carla got married. We need to have four grandchildren. And it doesn't matter if we're good friends with them because we're already good friends with four of our children. So they just need to have four babies and move out. And then we can socialize with Isis and Ariel to complete this big happy family aspiration. Okay, so hey, Megan, would you like to have I'm some science lottery. babies now yeah, that we tied the knot? Wrong. It's a boy. So we're going to name this boy Devin. And we have another boy, Justin. And a third boy. We had triplets, Chaz. Well, that was an achievement. Oh, we also got Legacy Player. What does that mean? Play a household for 10 generations or more. Um, where's my triplets achievement? I got triplets. Oh, come on. Did I get cheated out of that achievement because I got a different one? Really? Where's the achievements in this game? I don't even know. Where the heck do you check that? Oh, there it is. It's on the main menu. Okay, so where's the triplets? Triplets. Okay, I think it's unlocked because this one I haven't done. And it's got the lock icon. Okay, so I think we did get the triple play. It's just that it didn't show it because we got a different one at the same time. That's annoying. Well, I, I eventually want to unlock all of these achievements as well. However, we're going to not worry about that right now because I'm going to go into a different save file. Oh, some of these are painful. Have 10 households in the world that have been played for 10 generations or more? That one is painful. Well, I think what we're going to do with this is we're just going to use this as a last resort of something to do. Yeah, have a male sim give birth to an alien baby. That one is hard. We're just going to ignore all of this. And then if we run out of stuff to do, we'll come and do these. All right. So we have eight sims in this household. We're going to move out Megan with all of the kids. And then we're going to have Norma ask Megan to have one more science baby. Hopefully she doesn't leave. Actually, I know she's going to leave. Oh, well. All right. And you get your million simoleons. I've been giving all the kids a million simoleons when they move out. We mean transferring is not allowed. No, we have to be able to transfer them. Well, maybe if I just make her and her new household, it'll be fine. Okay, so Carla has three out of four grandchildren. And then we're going to have one more science baby, hopefully. Um, let's not have twins this time. So we're going to take off the onlay line now that we've had triplets. We no longer need triplets. Okay, one more science baby, Megan. And then we just need to socialize a little bit. So let's talk to Isis. Did we get another butler? Why? Why does this keep happening? Well, anyway, I thought we were having a science baby. What happened? Did she leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why did we not have a science baby? Ah, she's not going to come. This is someone's renovation of, I think, one of the rental houses. I hope it's one of the rental houses. I'm sorry if this was a complete redo of something, but anyway, I did not get the name. I don't think we can have a science baby while we're here. Maybe we can. It's kind of strange to ask to have a science baby while you're at someone else's house because this might bug things. Hmm. Technically not at my house. So how does this work? I did put some bassinets upstairs just in case. And we also have some infant cribs and some toddler beds. And when they become children, I'll have to revisit. We have a boy, Carmelo. Okay, so if we follow Norma home. Okay, it looks like everything is okay. We now have four grandchildren. Did you get credit, Carla? Because I wasn't on the lot with you loaded. Yes, you got credit. Okay. All right, so now we have to figure out how to get them to move out. 
Oh, thank God I can actually transfer these babies. Okay, I don't want to mess with more babies right now. Okay, I don't know if this is a new bug or what, but it seems like Carla cannot transfer people into a new household outside of her household. So I can have someone split from the family and move and create a new household, but I cannot go to manage worlds, create a new household, and move people into it. It has to be an existing household. Okay, it looks like we have a new butler yet again. We have two butlers. Are you still the butler, Aya? No, you are not. Which is really weird. Okay, let's quickly finish the socialization part and we'll be done with the family aspirations. And then we just have to worry about the kids growing up and having heirs in order to continue the line. Oh, come on, Ariel. Don't go to sleep. Well, fine. Maybe Isis will talk to me. Okay, somehow that just got socialization up to level 10. I did not socialize 10 times, but okay. Big happy family done. Okay, I think the next one is the Mount Kumarabi Sightseer because today is Saturday and at 3 p.m. there's the Festival of Snow. But until we can do that, maybe we should go on a couple more dates. And maybe we'll start with a get to know you date. We need a romantic blanket and some food. Okay, did we not get any gallery ones this time? No. Annie though, yeah, she's one of the ones in that household. But why is she in that outfit? Oh, this outfit is going to plague me in this save file. Okay, we're going to go on a get to know you date again. Oh, and maybe we should ask her to change. Uh -huh. Is it cold? It is cold. Yes. We don't Have want you little... dying. <laughs> Carla will be fine, though. Oh, and that outfit. I'm not so sure that's a date outfit, but okay. Oh, my go on a get to know you date doesn't count until I complete the date. And I need three gold dates for this one. Ah, well, okay. I can't do both at the same time. I'm going to have to go on a lot of dates. This is just unfortunate. So let's see. Where can we put our blanket? Maybe in here? Uh, I can't just drag it. I have to place in the world. Okay, but I can share food. Oh, it doesn't count sharing food unless... It's something else, maybe? Maybe it's the romantic food in my inventory. Yeah, the picnic did not count as sharing food. Oh, she dropped it. Okay, that did not count. As, okay, that did count as sharing food. I just had to wait for the whole long interaction to finish. That was annoying. And get rid of this. Well, maybe if I just woohoo, it doesn't matter that the BLT sandwich is sitting right there. Nope, it doesn't matter. Okay, now we need to do a little bit more date work. And it says woohoo again. <laughs> okay, we're going to get to know... Um, we used the romantic blanket three times? No, we only used it once. Oh well. Okay, we're almost there. Well, it looks like Yui is pregnant. Okay, we have gold on this date, but it's not giving me credit until I end the date. Okay, that's fine. All right, we should probably ask her to be our partner, though. Because we need to have two or more partners. Okay, next on the list is Anita. And we need to get a gold date with her. Well, that was easy. Okay, if we ask her to be our partner, that should give us two partners and then immediately go on a date with her. And maybe that counts? Just going on a date should count, right? No, it doesn't count. Ah, we're going to have to go on so many dates. It only counts after you end it for everything okay might as well do this one first since we've almost got three gold dates plus this will stop them from being jealous with each other and i think we've accomplished everything that we need 
to accomplish uh, where people are not going to be jealous with us. I think we can go in here and it'll be less likely that we get any jealous responses because only celebrities and their group members can go in here. Can you go in? No. Well, that is not what I wanted. Great. I think maybe she can't get in because there's no bouncer here. I'm just, well, I can only change this fame requirement to one star. I can't change it to nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's a door back here. Maybe I can just let people in the back door. <laughs> She's supposed to be able to get in. Okay, can you get in now? Yeah, hurry up. Run in the back door before... <laughs> Annie gets here. No, I don't want Annie to be able to get there. Hurry up. Hurry up. No, Annie, you cannot come in. You are not a celebrity. It'll cheat a little bit. There we go. Now she can't get in. Everyone was going around to the back door, but I closed it off. That should be allowed. I'm a celebrity. I'm allowed to let people in. Um, she wants to live with me? Uh, yes, I'd love that. No, we're not going to move you in. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we can flirt a couple of times. And then we'll tell some jokes. And then we'll get this date to gold. And we'll move on to the next. The next date, not the next person. Okay, the Festival of Snow has started, so we need to get a move on. Let's hurry up and get gold on this date. And the Finchwick Fair has also started. We gotta go. Come on, hurry up. Dates are sometimes fun and sometimes just repetitive when you're grinding the aspirations. Will this do it? The last story... Okay, now we end the date, and we get credit for three gold dates. What? What? I heard you and the Grim Reaper started dating. Congratulations on a new partner. Anita is not the Grim Reaper. I started dating Anita. Am I dating the Grim Reaper? I mean, I know we have romance, but you can't ask him to be partners. What? I'm his partner. Did I ask him to be partners? What happened there? I could have sworn that you couldn't ask him to be your partner. How did that happen? We became partners with Anita. And we became partners with Annie. Oh, I'm confused. Okay. Let's go to the Festival of Snow. There are no mods in my game. I swear there are no mods in my game. All right. Well, Festival of Snow is around here somewhere. We got to change our aspiration. We need to eat food and take a selfie with the mascot. I don't think the mascot shows up for this one. Because it's not in the other place. But we can eat food. Oh, there he is. We can take a selfie with him. Now, spoiler alert. It actually does not put a selfie in your inventory. Carla, you're going to run all the way over there in those heels. All right. You could have transportalated in the snow. Okay. If you want a real selfie... Then you have to immediately uh, take dead. a selfie and put him in the background. It's kind of annoying. You can't take a photo with him. No, Carla, no, no. Come back over here. Now you transport a late. That's not the best angle. Oh, I think you fixed. No, you didn't really fix it. Okay, well, you can kind of go around a little bit. And maybe we can get a different pose from her. Oh, that one might be perfect. Yes. 
Okay, that's the only way to get a, a selfie with Yamachan. You had to basically <laughs> sit there and finagle it to where you're both in the shot where he's just standing there. He's not really taking a selfie with you. He's part of the background. Well, that's about as good as you can get. Okay, we want to buy the festival outfit. Just purchase it. Don't... And I'm not going to buy any semi-capsules. I'll just get the outfits. I don't have time to get the semi-capsule. We need to buy food. Eat food at the festival, light, snow, or youth. Okay. I don't think it really matters if you order it here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I think you can get recipes this way. That's another thing that we're going to have to work on eventually. Okay. I'm eating food. Can you give me credit for that, please? Does this not count as food? Okay, I had to finish the plate. All right. Well, for the rest of it... Oh, wear a, a festival costume from a vending machine. Well, we can do that. I'm not going to do the rest of it for now because we have to go to the Fenchwick Fair. I can't wear it because I have a full body outfit on. Or I don't have a full body outfit on. Uh, I had purchase and wear as an option, but let me change my outfit. Ha, that allows me to do it. Okay, I still have the stupid crown on my head, but I did wear the outfit from the vending machine. Okay, what if we were to summon the Grim Reaper? Oh, uh, we need to have something to submit for the fair. This is the oversized crop competition and pie competition yeah i've already done the pie ones so oversized crop i don't want to get a good ribbon so maybe if i buy the grocery shop ones because they sell small pumpkins small watermelon and small arbergine so if i buy one of those it is a small pumpkin, and it is excellent quality. Really excellent? I was hoping it would be normal. This is probably going to get me the first place. Oh, I don't like it when it's excellent quality. Yeah, we're going to submit our entry. Probably going to get first place again, which we don't want. Okay, well, submitting my entry, I better not get first place. I don't want first place. Even second place will be fine. Okay, so, yeah, my other girlfriend is here. Where's Graham, though? I summoned him. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, man, he's wearing that outfit. Oh. Yeah, we can break up. And we can ask to be just friends. I must have asked him to be my partner. I thought, but it just surprised me at that point that it said, um, congrats on being a partner with Grim when I wasn't becoming a partner with Grim. Ask about the Rainbow Bridge. I, I keep asking him this and he doesn't say anything about it. Can I ask him on a date? Maybe just a regular date, not one of those planned dates. Well, I actually need to go on a get-to-know-you date. Or no, three dates with a partner sim. Doesn't have to be gold. Can I not ask him about a date? Maybe I can't go on a date with him. Because I don't see the option. No, we cannot go on a date. Alright. No dates with Graham. Okay, and that looks like as far as we can take our relationship, because the only thing we can do now is become best friends and ask to be just friends. And somehow we're still best friends with Agnes and, oh no, just Agnes, actually. Somehow we became best friends with Agnes again. Yeah, we became best friends with Agnes. Even though technically we were best friends with Hayden for a while. Yeah, we're not best friends with Hayden anymore. It just says it's complicated and we're divorced. 
But we had to have been best friends with Hayden because he was our soulmate aspiration. So it defaulted to going back to being best friends with Agnes for whatever reason. Let's become best friends with the Grim Reaper. Since we can't go on a date with them, we have to go on a date with someone else. I think Anita was here. There she is. Let's just go on a date with her. Yeah, we're still best friends with Agnes. Can we have multiple best friends now? Because you didn't used to be able to in an unmodded game. Maybe they changed that. And then we'll just stay here. And then I don't even think it matters. It just says go on three dates. They don't have to be good dates. Maybe we should swipe something just because. I don't want to take something functional though. I want to take something non-functional. Ah, oh, this is good. A picture. With people watching. It helps to do it with people watching. Because you get negative reputation for that. And they keep telling you about your stealing. And that gives you negative reputation over and over again. That's one of the best ways to lower reputation. So having her being a kleptomaniac was actually a good thing. Okay, we're just going to end the date. And have a date again. Yeah, unsuccessful. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. We're going to go on another date again. Alright. And then we just need to go on three dates with the partner sim. So we'll just end it right away. And we are a Paragorn partner, which affection aficionado sims have a slower romantic satisfaction loss in relationships with other sims. Okay, even though we got an unsuccessful date. Okay, the last one we need to do is a romantic explorer date. I mean, a romantic explorer. So we need to go on a get to know you date. Maybe we'll just go ahead and... Oh, Megan's here. Um, Where did she go? Did she get tired of me <laughs> dating her and then not dating her? I think she left. Poor Anita. Yeah, she's gone. Is Annie here? No. Okay. I need to go when I get to know you date. And let's see. Let's just pick someone I already know that's not my daughter or her fiance or her wife. Sorry. Can't date you. Ask me someone I already know. How about you, Dylan? Actually, I should have chose someone that I already had good friendship status with. But we'll do another get to know you date and we just won't complete anything. Because I think we just need to go on the date. You do need to share food. Okay, I don't want to gain friendship with him. Because if I do, then unfortunately... Oh, she won't share food because he's not a partner. Okay, well, fine. I'm just going to end the date then. Oh no, she's sharing the food. Okay. I thought she wasn't going to because she didn't like the fact that they weren't in a relationship. So the reason why she doesn't like that is she has that celebrity quirk again and I need to get rid of it. And I became good friends with him. That's why I wanted to avoid. Okay, and we're being heckled by fans. That's fun. Okay, so we shared food. And no, you're not getting water, Carla, in the date. We don't need the date. We'll end it abruptly. <laughs> Maybe that'll make him hate us. Oh, we got a participation ribbon. Yay. That's actually good. I was trying to get a participation ribbon. Oh, I have to go. Sorry, I have an emergency. He didn't like that. <laughs> okay. That was actually kind of mean. Oh, the Paragon partner is only one level, but Romantic Explorer is multiple levels. I did not realize that. We have a Romantic partner, though. Why is that not checked off? We have three Romantic partners. Well, anyway. Okay, it checked itself off.
This is Charity. Thanks for watching. Bye.